Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, Creativity, Flow and the Psychology of Discovery and Invention. Dive into the fascinating world of creativity and unlock its secrets by exploring the summary of e-creativity, flow, and the psychology of discovery and invention by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi. With a blend of engaging storytelling and insightful analysis, this summary dissects the complex process of creativity, shedding light on its core components, the domain, field, and individual. Learn about the traits and circumstances that facilitate creativity and how shifting your environment, harnessing curiosity, and being part of the right creative ecosystem can lead to innovative ideas and significant accomplishments. Unraveling Creativity's Origins Creativity, contrary to popular belief, isn't simply a personal, magical talent. It emerges from a system containing a domain, a field, and an individual. The domain serves as a general category, like visual arts or mathematics, while the field consists of domain-specific experts who evaluate new ideas. The individual then uses domain-specific methods to produce something innovative, which is appraised by gatekeepers. Rather than an innate, mystical ability, creativity largely stems from the environment surrounding us. For instance, consider Florence, the creative hub of the Italian Renaissance era between 1400-1425. The city's thriving economy and art patrons nurtured the development of remarkable works like Lorenzo Ghiberti's Bronze Doors and Filippo Brunelleschi's Monumental Dome. The Renaissance exemplifies the crux of creativity, it primarily occurs within a system made up of a domain, a field, and an individual. The domain represents a broad category of creative expression, while the field comprises experts who evaluate and accept or reject new ideas. Within this system, an individual utilizes a domain's methods to create something novel, which must then be deemed worthy by the field's gatekeepers. Consequently, creativity is a complex, systemic process rooted in our surroundings. Unlocking Creativity Secrets Creativity is influenced by various personality traits and factors including innate talents, interest in a specific domain, and access to resources and connections. Creative individuals often hold complex personalities, exhibiting conflicting traits such as being both smart and naive, or introverted and extroverted, simultaneously. Discovering and promoting one's work frequently requires the right connections, which determines the accessibility of a creative field. Ultimately, these factors interconnect to produce and nurture creative minds. Did you know that creative individuals often possess complex personalities with conflicting traits? Creativity is not simply a matter of having a single determining factor or a stroke of luck. Instead, it involves a mix of innate talents, interests, resources, and connections. For instance, a person might have a natural affinity for color and light, which could lead them to explore painting. However, having an early interest in a specific domain is crucial for nurturing creativity. Access to resources and connections also plays a critical role in unlocking one's creative potential. Wealth, education, and exposure to other creative minds provide a significant advantage. Just consider the music of composer Johann Sebastian Bach, which was rediscovered and promoted by Felix Mendelssohn, several decades after Bach's passing. Creative minds often exhibit fascinating contradictions. Many are simultaneously smart yet naive, or introverted and extroverted. For instance, musical genius Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was known for his playful, almost childish personality. As creators seek solitude to hone their craft, they also thrive on sharing their ideas with the world, weaving a tapestry of contradictory characteristics that fuel their imaginative fire. The Five Steps of Creativity Creativity may be a complex process, but it often follows five key steps, preparation, incubation, insight, evaluation, and elaboration. While the journey to a brilliant idea varies across disciplines, individuals typically immerse themselves in a problem or idea first, then unconsciously develop the idea during the incubation period. The aha moment of insight brings the idea to the forefront, followed by the evaluation to decide if it's worth pursuing. 
Finally, the creative works to put the insight into action during the elaboration phase. Creativity frequently draws from three primary sources, personal experiences, the individual's domain, and relationships within their field. Emotions and life events inspire artists and writers, while challenging prevailing domain ideologies fuels creative energy. Lastly, interactions with teachers, colleagues, and mentors significantly shape a creative person's thinking and sources of inspiration. The Power of Creative Flow Creative individuals are often driven by the enjoyment they experience during their work, a state called flow. Flow is characterized by three main elements, having clear goals at every step, getting immediate feedback on actions, and a distortion of time perception. Whether it's musicians playing notes or scientists solving problems, being in the flow allows creators to immerse themselves in the process, separating good ideas from the bad and extending their present moment beyond past or future. The undeniable rush of satisfaction one experiences while engaged in a creative endeavor can be attributed to a powerful state known as flow. During this mental state, creators may easily identify their next steps without hesitation. Musicians instinctively play the right notes, rock climbers find the correct footholds, and accomplished scientists intuitively work towards solving complex problems. Just as critical to being in a state of flow is the ability to receive immediate feedback. This enables a creator to stay in tune with the process, not only through external cues, but also harnessing their own capacity for self-assessment, as demonstrated by Nobel Prize-winning chemist Linus Pauling. Cultivating the skill of evaluating one's ideas is a key component of productivity and creativity. Lastly, the perception of time is often altered during flow. An artist fully absorbed in their work may lose track of time entirely, merging their past and future into an endless present moment. In this state, creators find themselves drenched in their craft, resonating with poet Mark Strand's vision of the ultimate creative process. Unlocking Creativity, Environment Matters The environment you are in plays a critical role in your ability to produce creative results. Surrounding yourself with inspiring elements of nature, cultural resources, or institutions can significantly enhance your creativity. While places like New York are hotspots for aspiring artists and scientists, seeking inspiration in new settings is not always the best choice as some may thrive in familiar, comfortable surroundings. Ultimately, it's about finding the perfect balance between stimulating environments and personal comfort levels to fuel your creative journey. Creative potential often depends on being at the right place at the right time. The social, cultural, and institutional contexts around us contribute to the amount of creativity produced. Naturally, creative individuals gravitate towards places where they can immerse themselves in the heart of their field. For instance, New York lures aspiring artists, providing them access to trends and happenings in the art world. Similarly, scientists flock to institutes rich with great collaborators and thinkers, like the Bell Laboratories, where an environment of close proximity fosters easy idea exchanges and innovation. Ancient cultures have long believed in the impact of the physical environment on thoughts. From Chinese sages composing poetry on island pavilions to Christian monks constructing monasteries in awe-inspiring spots, such inspiring surroundings can indeed fuel creative insight. Composer Franz Liszt, for example, was deeply moved by the Italian village of Bellagio, converting his emotions into music. However, new environments aren't always synonymous with enhanced creativity. Familiarity and comfort play a role in other aspects of the creative process, such as preparation and evaluation. Johann Sebastian Bach and Marcel Proust thrived without ever venturing far from home, and even Albert Einstein conceived the theory of relativity from his kitchen table. In conclusion, the key to unlocking creativity lies in striking a balance between inspiring settings and personal comfort, catering to individual preferences to optimize the creative journey. Born versus Made Creativity Popular belief often suggests that creative individuals are born gifted, and many stories about child prodigies can easily reinforce this notion. However, it is essential to recognize that not all creative geniuses displayed exceptional talents from their early years, such as Albert Einstein or Charles Darwin. 
Furthermore, an analysis of many creative individuals' upbringing reveals very few patterns, with schooling having a notably minimal impact on their creative journeys. Indeed, numerous prominent creators, including biologist George Klein, artist Pablo Picasso, and writer T.S. Eliot, have claimed that their educational experiences were neither inspirational nor particularly influential in their later achievements. Ultimately, the idea of an innately gifted creative individual is more bust than fact, with talent and creativity often emerging through various contexts and life experiences. Early adulthood shapes creativity. Early adulthood plays a crucial role in shaping an individual's creativity, often peaking during college or graduate school. This stage provides a supportive environment for creative minds to discover their true passions, build meaningful connections with mentors and peers, and break away from conventional expectations. For many creative individuals, college is a turning point that allows them to foster their talents and take charge of their own career paths. In contrast to traditional career trajectories, creatives often embark on journeys that involve carving out new fields, pioneering innovative ideas, and laying the foundation for others to follow. During early adulthood, creative minds venture into environments that help cultivate their talents and ideas. College and graduate school often serve as turning points, allowing creative individuals to break free from the constraints of their previous environments. Here, they can finally connect with like-minded peers and mentors who appreciate their unique abilities. Encouraged by this newfound freedom, creative people discover their true passions and decide on their path in life. College not only offers an opportunity for independence but also acts as a catalyst for creativity to flourish. Just as David Reisman chose to defy his father and pursue law, countless other inspired minds take control of their destinies and diverge from conventional expectations. However, the road less traveled comes with its own set of challenges. In contrast to traditional careers, creatives often need to invent their job and industry. Pioneers like Sigmund Freud and Thomas Edison are prime examples of those who forged groundbreaking domains and paved the way for future innovators. The early stages of adulthood serve as the bedrock for creative individuals, equipping them with the skills, opportunities, and tenacity to mold their lives and shape the world around them. Ageless Creative Power Creativity isn't confined by age, rather, it often flourishes as wisdom and experiences accumulate. Numerous creative individuals show sustained or improved mental abilities as they age, allowing them to broaden their interests and deepen their work. Embracing their passions, these creatives remain enthusiastic about their projects and fearless about mortality, etching their mark on the world well beyond their golden years. Forget the myth that creativity peaks in your thirties, recent studies reveal that age does not restrain the power of the imagination. Many creative minds attest that mental prowess does not dwindle with the passage of time, and while physical energy may wane, cognitive abilities often remain unaltered or even sharpen. Take Heinz Meyer Leibniz, an acclaimed physicist, who experienced an increased passion for work in his 80s, despite his vitality not keeping pace. And Isabella Carl, a nonagenarian crystallographer, attributes life experiences to enhancing her complex thinking. The illustrious physicist Linus Pauling, astonishingly, published most extensively between the ages of 70 and 90. The author's aged interviewees eagerly divulged their ongoing projects, revealing how the depths of their passions extend into fields such as politics, human welfare, and environmental studies. Embracing elder creativity, they continue to make a lasting impact, unafraid of death and wholly content pursuing their lifelong fascinations. Unleashing Creativity for Survival The multitude of global challenges we face, such as overpopulation, limited resources, and climate change, call for innovative solutions that hinge upon cultivating creativity. Our societal advancement relies on the dissemination of memes, or ideas shared within communities, shaping our knowledge and actions. To secure a thriving future, we must promote beneficial memes that encourage creativity. Early exposure to diverse domains and better access to educational materials equip children with the opportunity to uncover their passions and contribute fresh perspectives. Ultimately, 
presenting domain-specific information in user-friendly ways is vital to motivate aspiring individuals, fueling the innovation necessary for our survival as a species. Cultivate curiosity for creativity. To boost creativity, develop a strong sense of curiosity and constantly seek new experiences. Take a genuine interest in learning something new every day, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem. Pay close attention to your interests and chase them down, as you never know where they may lead. Protect your creativity from distractions by managing your schedule, identifying your most productive times, and fostering your unique thinking style. Unleash your creativity by nurturing a passion for curiosity. It's easy to lose our sense of wonder as we age and fall into routines, but creative individuals remain curious throughout their lives. Endeavor to discover new and surprising things each day, whether that means trying a new dish or listening to your colleagues intently. No piece of knowledge is too trivial, find something interesting in everything. Don't let your fleeting interests slip away, delve deeper into them. When something catches your eye, make an effort to learn about it as part of your creative process. Pursue your interests with vigor, as you never know where they may take you. Additionally, shield your creativity from external distractions. Develop habits that help concentrate your attention and avoid anything that may hinder your creative flow. Take charge of your personal routine to ensure it aligns with your creative goals, determine when you're most productive, and prioritize focused work during those times. Embrace and nourish your own way of thinking, and let creativity flourish in your life. As we conclude our journey through the summary of e-creativity, flow, and the psychology of discovery and invention, it becomes evident that creativity is not solely an inherent talent, but a product of an individual's personality traits, environment, and connection to their domain and field. By understanding the creative process, cultivating curiosity, and positioning ourselves in favorable environments, we can foster creativity and develop innovative solutions to the world's most pressing problems. Embrace the lessons shared and discover the untapped potential within yourself and the world around you.